Hey guys! Hi. Welcome back to Sewing Agape. I'm Kimberly. I'm Candace. And we are back with Snack Crate! Alright. Um, guys, this is like y'all's favorite is when we do Snack it's Crate. Also our favorite. So it really is. Works out. <laughs> um, All right. Oakley Doakley. So, if you remember, <laughs> we had to watch to remember, but if you remember, we predicted that I thought it was going to be Mexico or Finland. And I thought it was going to be Korea or Australia. So let's see what's in the box. All I right. took the tape off, but I have not opened it. Ooh, France. France. Ooh, la la. These are all going to be way too fancy for me. I can go and take I think we had story time last time about how I took French. Yes. It was so terrible at it. Yeah. Well, that was the Canada video. And yeah. I don't remember how good Kimberly's French was. So, yeah. uh, all right. Mm. Oh, France. exciting! Okay, let's see our fun facts about France. Um, ooh, I wish I knew what that was. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a Roman it's numeral. A Roman numeral. All right. You can tell we went to public school right now. Uh, cause... Louis the Ninth. No, Louis the Nineteenth. Okay. Yes, Louis the Nineteenth was the king of France for just twenty minutes, the shortest ever reign. Once. I wonder what happened. Did Somebody enlightened us below. Yeah. In France, you can marry a dead person. What? How do they like consent? All right. Uh, France. Good is legal like, question. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and why would you want to? Is what I was right, going yeah. to. But and how do you consummate the marriage? I mean, these are all guys. Let's stop right there. Yeah. These okay. are all <laughs> legitimate <laughs> questions. Okay. But okay. Uh, France is the first country in the world to ban supermarkets from throwing away or destroying unsold food. Nice. That is great. We could use that here. We could because there's so much. We, we both went to waste. Costco today. Link above. Guys, so much. So much waste, but not, I mean, not so much Costco, but like you watch those videos, like the people can live the documentaries, it. it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, what are they called? They're called like it's like Italian, it's some sort of and they live solely off of food that's been thrown away. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's illegal, good food. it's illegal to do that though, like to go dumpster diving, you can get like arrested for that. That's crazy, because especially yeah. in New York, I've seen one in the documentary where we're digressing, but where they were the bagel shop was like great bagels, but they mm -hmm. um. Over made them and wrapped them up and threw them away. Yeah. So, but then there's also places like Panera Bread that give all theirs to homeless shelters, which so. is awesome. Yeah. All right. Anyways, okay. It is against the law to carry live snails on a high speed train in France without their own tickets. Well, that's stupid. I wonder how that law came about. <laughs> yeah. What okay. prompted that? Napoleon wasn't short. He was actually above average height for the time. Okay. And there's only that one. That like blew my mind. Actually, Napoleon. I mean, like. Because he's known for being short. Napoleon complex. I always say our little chihuahua has a Napoleon complex. So. All right. And then there's only one stop sign in the entire city of Paris. Interesting. I guess all the roundabouts? I don't know. Crazy. We've probably ran it. But. Probably. Uh, when we went to Italy, her husband got two different violations mailed to him in the mail. Like seven months later. later. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, months uh, after we returned. All right. All right. Oh, oh, France. Oh, look, and look how adorable the stickers are for France. Okay. So I bought a map. That yes. we can start putting our stickers on, but Candace is, we have like house guests right now, and mm. all of their stuff is in the same room that the map is in, so we haven't yet. Uh, oh, but I'm next time, oh, they have the Arc de Triomphe and the, the oh, they have Triumph. wine, guys. We knew it was gonna be France. We, we got a Franzia. We didn't, we didn't know it was gonna be France. <laughs> we but we did it straight from the box, because we're classy ladies. And, and if also, you need proof of that, check out some of our other videos. Also, the paper's super cute this time, look, it has. Oh, and it has the French has, flag as the sticker. Yeah. What? It's super cute. Okay. See? All right, let's dig in. Let's start with. Uh, oh, that's a big old bag. That is a big old bag. It's the size of my face. All right, it oh, is. Oh, these look so good. Bubbly's original. I think it's gonna be um, bubblegum flavored. Is there like everything you chewy? Like all your kids. Okay. Dummy. So it's called Ludi Ludi Bubbles. Was that right? Pink and blue gummy bottles with a slight fizz. Delicious. It smells like when you go to get your car washed and you turn the air conditioner on, what it smells like. Oh, I think that smells good. I don't know what it smells like. It does kind of smell like that. Oh, it's sour. This is not what I thought it was gonna taste like at all. It tastes like a pixie stick, like a chewy pixie stick. Or like Smarties. Those are really good. That's way better than I expected. It's weird that it smells kind of like bubblegum. I like fruit. Ooh, it's super sour. But it doesn't taste like it smells at all. Mm -mm. Those are pretty good. Okay. I'd buy a bag of those. I'd get down on a bag of those when my snails on my train. 
All right. Oh, Haribo Tagata. Probably not pronounced like that at all. But, um, <laughs> L'Original. What are these going to taste like? Cherry, cherry bombs? Chewy cherry bombs? Probably going to be um, hot. Let's see. Haribo Sesbo La V. So that means Se La V is that's life. So it's a good, it's a beautiful life. What's that going to do with the taste? I don't know, but I read French, guys. Kudos. I feel like any um, idiot read that. <laughs> <laughs> I got probably cherry. Yeah, cherry. Evidently, in the UK, they were people in the comments were saying that we thought something was grape, and they don't have grapes there. It's, it's all black, black currant. Yeah. So that's interesting. This is also a giant bag. Yeah. Oh, these smell like watermelon. Terrible. No, smell the bag. Uh, I think they smell like watermelon. All right. They're delightful. <laughs> They're a little too gummy for me. Like. It kind of, I took the bite and it kind of dissolved in my mouth. Strawberry, they're, they're strawberry. They're much less chewy than a gummy bear though. Like yes. they're way less chewy. They're more airy. They're pretty good. They like, have like but a the texture outside. is, like it's kind of like a, the sugary outside and it kind of dissolves. I like this better than the other, the other thing. Okay. Uh, those are good too. All right. How Man, about? we're blowing through these. All right, next All right. we have chips a la ensemble. Oh, I didn't read the last oh. thing. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, it was strawberry. The Haribo Tagata sugar coated strawberry flavored pieces of taffy. Mm. It didn't feel like taffy though. Um, most popular candy in France. Interesting. All right, now we have chips a la anasana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lay's chips a la l'ancienne. Um, light and crispy traditional French style potato chips with a perfect balance of salt and crunch. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what makes them French style. Versus any like other chips. I always go nose first in the things. You do. I just gotta know. I'm like a bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a snack crate earlier? Just like regular potato chips. No, they taste just like the regular Lay's. I mean, they're good, but it tastes maybe a little bit saltier. I don't know, but I appreciate this guy right here. He's making me enjoy it a little bit more. I don't, I don't taste any difference. They're good though. It yeah. tastes just like regular potato chips. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, but the France box isn't quite as full as some of our other boxes. Those other bags were huge. Maybe well, those are huge, huge bags, bags though. Like, but I feel like um, maybe there's still a lot. Yeah, there's still a lot. But I feel like some of the other ones. Okay. What, what about this one? This is La Paille d'Or. Oh, for ambrosies. So for ambrosies is um, raspberry. So, okay, a delicate crunchy wafer. Oh, no, love no how much I love wafers. <laughs> With oh. a rich raspberry filling. This sounds amazing. We'll see. Oh, it's like oh, a looking. bunch of them. I, mean, I think this it's is just one. one. Like, here, show. Oh, gosh. We're kind of zoomed in today. No, oh, I don't really know how. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So it's a wafer. Like this, and then you break it into three. Oh, it's kind of like I'm gonna just gummy. Go, okay. Maybe? Okay. It's like a wafer with jelly in it. Mm, it's kind of like chewy jelly, though, huh? Like if you're a mom and your kid made their own peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and they let the jelly sit on the counter <laughs> after they spilt it there. Yeah. And you're wiping it up before dinner. It tastes good. I feel like it's very. Um, if you, went, if you double it up like this, let's see. Yeah, it's very. What am I trying to say? Kind of bland. I was saying, it's very um, light. Like there's not a lot to it as yeah. far as like taste or substance. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm not offended by it. I don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't hate it either. All right, there let's go. try this one. This one is the got a little plumies on that thing. Vertible petite color pocket. Vertible Ooh. pocket. You see that somewhere? Oh, this no. one. Oh, I didn't read it right. There was an oh, e collier. E -co e collier. Yeah. Sweet buttery cookies combined with delicious milk chocolate. This is going to be our favorite. We love chocolate cookies. Oh, oh, I love it even comes with two per package. Guys, okay, wait. Look at how oh, oh, like a French stuck. that looks. Oh, oh look. Oh, they have like a little Napoleon yeah. on them, I think. Or maybe it's a Louis. You know what? And he's of average size. Okay. Uh, I think it actually he's is a King Louis. It says oh, L-U. L -U. I don't know who it's like supposed to be. All right. We need to brush up on her. <laughs> mm. 
You throw a hot marshmallow on that and you make a hell of a s'more, I'll tell you that. <laughs> sure. Um, be great so the cookie s'mores? is kind of more like a cracker, like a lot of European cookies are. But it's like a sweet cracker. And the chocolate is pretty thick. Yeah, that would be a great s'more. Oh, that's delicious. I got crumbs everywhere from that last little home thing. All right. Mm. Oh, we got two of those. Unless there's a, is there? Mm -mm. No, just two of those. Okay. So two of the living mm. things. I wouldn't say that was a buttery cookie. No. All right. Now we have our Arlequins right here. Sweet and sour hard candies featuring a white outer layer and colorful center. All right. I wish I would have had this before my chocolate biscuit. Should I just crunch on in, break a tooth? No. No, you've broken enough teeth this year. <laughs> well, I bit mine. Uh, there's nothing colorful about it. <laughs> well, still white. Tastes like pina colada, though. Mine, too. I mean, I guess there's some color on the outside, but... Tastes like pina colada to you, too? It's good. It is good. But I feel like this is a random ad, because I feel like that would be like the American box having butterscotch in it. You know what I'm saying? They're like... <laughs> but, I mean, they're good. Everybody steals them out of your grandma's pocket, but you know, like, would you buy them at the store? Mm. And there's, that's not bad. Three more. I'm gonna change the paper. I don't know how to Okay. Oh, look how cute mm. these are. We have mm. rose drops. You see that? And this little tin, little Altoids tin looking thing. I like the packaging. Oh, look at the little French symbol. All right, wag. Well, so what are these? Things? What are rose drops? Rose drops are small mints flavored with rose petals and licorice. Oh, and look at how oh, they a great open. after dinner. Okay, they open like this. Oh, that is adorable. Okay, well we're. I think I remember when we were in France. I definitely remember going to a perfume shop and buying rose perfume, like rose scented perfume. But I think that we did have a candy that was like this that was flavored with rose. So they look like little bloated Tic Tacs. I don't taste any. Oh, I taste this. Me too. Like, I kind of feel like I ate soap a little bit. <laughs> but like a pleasant soap, like an edible soap. It's good, it's sweet. Like sugary, like a sugary mint. Yeah. It's like if your mint fell in a rose patch and you picked it up afterwards and got a little rose leaf in it. Is that right? Rose okay. petal. Yeah, but it's a super cute tin. I like it. I'll keep it. It's not bad. All um, right. Got a couple more. We got Ooh! a bunch of... These yeah. remind me of something from my childhood, but I don't know why. We got a bunch of these little... Yeah, what did we eat that things. was this shape? I don't know. All right, here, the, these are called the caramel. Something. Caramel bar. There's a bunch of flavors. This All one, right. these are look like these are both banana. This is the original. Oh, well, how do you know? It says oh, original. original. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, this is the the original. the raspberry, the frambose or framboise. I, think that's I really failed. No, it's raspberry. Oh, okay. Well, these are strawberry. Um, I really did fail. These are lemon French. She just felt really sorry for me and passed lemon. me because of my effort. All right, so those are all original. These are lemon. And that's the car. That's original. original. Okay. Okay, so let's start with let's start with an original. original. Okay, so right. let me read about these. The Carm Carambar. <laughs> anyway, rich caramel mixed with cocoa and formed into thin sticks. Each candy has jokes written on the inside of the wrapper. Oh, but you know they're they, in French and we're not gonna oh. understand them. Well, for all of our French Well, there viewers. was a joke. It's like laughing oh. taffy for French people. Okay, I was gonna try to split this with you, but they are not splittable, so you're gonna have to open your own. Rakoi, the, yeah, guys, I think Rakoi means why, how, I don't know. Can I not take a bite of it? Please don't break a tooth. Okay, I said it's really hard. <laughs> it tastes like chocolate caramel. I mean, this is another thing you can break your tooth on real quick. Um, Stop eating it. Oh. It's good, but I feel like you'd have to sit here and suck on it. Oh, that's good. 
Okay, so I think on the other ones, we should just like lick it in. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to think this through. Like, let's just, let's develop a little bit of a game plan before we just start pulling well, crowns out. Well, I, I'll taste raspberry, you taste strawberry. We'll each go in and a lemon. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. I mean, that was good. Oh, a sugar daddy. That's what those look like. Oh, that's what tastes like a sugar daddy. Yeah. I'm sure our parents thought, nope, this is how they lose fillings. We're not buying these anymore. That's why we couldn't remember. Oh, okay. Good Lord. These are not, so this is the raspberry. This isn't even coming unwrapped easily. Okay. Oh, this is not hard oh. at all. Oh, yeah, that's like tapping. This is like Laffy Taffy. Tastes yeah. amazing. This is great. No, I'm actually going to eat this one. Mm. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Here's a strawberry. Also not hard. Is it good? Yes. That tastes just like the strawberry Laffy Taffy. Mm. Okay. I'll put a Yeah. But for the original, maybe we got a bad one. Yeah, because mm. it's like, well, I don't know. I guess if we're dipping chocolate, it makes it harder. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Okay, let's see here. How do you say this? Karambar? 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 I don't know. Yeah, this is much more enjoyable. Oh, the strawberry one's good. This lemon one is good. I bet if you eat the strawberry and the lemon together, it tastes like strawberry and lemonade. Let me just tell you. That is much more enjoyable. Oh, that is tart. Yeah, it's good. Woo. Oh, I really like this one. Yeah. Mix it with your strawberry. Have your strawberry lemonade, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I enough with the cream bars. Cream bars. Cream bars. All right, that's actually really good. We're down to two things left to try. We've got two nuts bars. Nuts. Nuts by, by Nestle. Nestle. We love Nestle. <laughs> we like cashew. Oh, true. Man. Oh, this looks like a hazelnut. Are you allergic to hazelnut? No. Okay, Candace is allergic to a lot of things. I am. Um, milk chocolate candy bar with a filling of caramel and hazelnuts. I feel like we can just share one. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I don't know. Once the camera turns off, we might go back. <laughs> oh, oh, it's very oh. nougaty. I can do the small part. <laughs> It's not super flavorful. It reminds me of a Snickers bar that they forgot to put a bunch of nuts in. <laughs> like, like, whoops, sprinkles, but also top. caramel. It's like a Snickers with just the nougat inside. <laughs> yeah. Was there caramel on this too? I keep getting like, yeah. I keep getting like tiny, not a lot of crunchy bits, but like crunchy nut bits. Well, they don't taste like hazelnut. Like it's, it's not overwhelming. This is called nuts. Like you think nuts, this would be like a payday where it's like nuts, nuts, nuts. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But instead, it's called nuts, and there's like a nut. I'm sure we call like nougat. Nougat. Joy. Yeah. Nougat with yeah. a random nut here and there. Nougat surprise. Like yeah. oh nougat. Well, surprise nut. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not bad. One more thing. It tastes pretty good though. We've got Mikado. But I'm saying all these things like I'm doing a box from Mexico. Um, but anyways, this looks just like the Pocky, the Pocky sticks. That's what I was going to say. But the French version. So okay. let's try these. These. Diane. Damn is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Mikado. Um, crunchy biscuit sticks covered in smooth milk chocolate and Dame, D-A-I-M pieces. Since we don't know what that is, we don't even know how to say it. Gosh, they're hard to open. That is weird that that's like a hazelnut thing. It doesn't taste like hazelnut. Yeah. It tastes like nougat. There you go. What are, Dame? What's I, that? I don't know, it looks like um, fresh crispy bits, kind of. All right, ready? Okay, this is good. Oh. Oh, that's Damn my favorite. good! Yeah. I'll tell you that. That's my favorite thing in the box. Mm. Here's two. It's like a toffee. My toffee bits. I'm not, or it may even be sea salt. Hell if we know. But it's like little hard bits in the chocolate and cookie bit. This is outstanding. And this is my favorite thing in the whole box. Outstanding. So, 
We were in oh, oh, here it tells you in English. Caramel flavor milk chocolate with caramel pieces. So they're like little hard bits oh. of caramel, like crystallized caramel, I guess. Um, we were in France a very, very long time ago. I was like 14. I'm really old now. So, uh, so I turned old. 16 on that trip and I am now 34. So that's how long ago. How many years is that? It was 17 years ago because I was 14 and I'm 31. Yeah, also. So. Okay. Mm. We were only there for a couple days. Yeah. Because we were on like a 10 day trip and went to like three different places or whatever. Um, and I don't remember eating a single one of these things, mm. which I mean, how much can I remember from 17 years ago? I was 16. I mean, but um, this has a great box. Like nothing was offensive. Nothing I was like, ah, nasty. Like yeah, everything was good. Everything was good. Those first things were surprising. Those yeah. bottle fizzer. Yes, I think my favorite though was definitely these Mikados. I was called them Pocky Six. Pocky um, six yeah. These things are great. And then my least favorite, well, probably the mints, actually. No, my least oh, favorite are the these, original caramel. The original. But it wasn't the taste, things. it was the texture. Like, yeah. it really, it was not good on the teeth. Also, I wasn't a huge fan of these jelly wafers. They just didn't have a lot of flavor. Yeah. But I'm sure, like, little children who don't have a very... Sophisticated yeah. palate like us. Like and us. Franzia. And Franzia, yeah. Um, no dissing Franzia, because we literally... Love are you. drinking Franzi right now. <laughs> um, my camera battery is about to die. Um, anyway, it was a good box. I thought, I think that's really good. I wonder if this is very representative of France. You know, like I, with some of the American boxes, I'm like, what? We don't, you know, whatever. Um, so if you're from France or traveled extensively in France or want to act like you've done either of those things, comment below and let us know if this is a good representation of France. So before our battery dies, we love you guys. Thank you for watching us. All right, um, predictions. My prediction for next, I'm gonna stick with South America. I'm gonna say Ecuador. Ooh, I'm gonna stick with Australia. It's gonna be Australia, I have a feeling. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like this video um, and subscribe below. And we're gonna get more of Candace on this channel because I know y'all love her. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey. Oh my god, you're an idiot. <laughs>